This, uh, this work, the problem with the play pump, derives from my PhD research. Uh, this is actually a photograph I took in KwaZulu-Natal in South Africa. Uh, the play pump makes a really good object for understanding relationships between first world supporters of uh, development projects and uh, developing world users. It's a children's roundabout uh, that pumps water to an elevated water tank and there are billboards rented out on the water tank and the income from that uh, advertising is meant to fund the maintenance of the pump. It was a very popular project uh, as it was portrayed in the media in Europe and America and lots of people wanted to support and fund it. So it sounded great, unfortunately it doesn't really work very well on the ground. Uh, children's play is not sufficient to pump enough water for their community so adults end up turning the roundabout by hand and that's actually a lot more difficult and less efficient than an ordinary hand pump. Not only that, but because the water tank is, is usually empty, they have to pump water to the height of the water tank, which is six meters up, before they can access it. And that would maybe be, be mitigated by the income from advertising on the billboards, except that very few advertisers were interested in advertising to poor rural audiences. So all of the features of the play pump that made it seem attractive to funders and audiences were also disadvantaging the user. Um, but for a long time that didn't really matter. The project still uh, continued because people couldn't really see what the real experience of people in the, de in the developing world uh, was. I think it really highlights the power imbalance between developing world users and first world audiences and the project shows the risks of setting up projects that are funded in this way.